Greetings, everybody. This is Backyard Dispatcher here. And this video's been requested by Roy Wells. Uh, 6610. Uh, I'd like to thank him for uh, suggesting me to do this. So let's get on with the show. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is make sure the gun's not loaded. And we're going to degas it. Just using my trusty little pocket knife. I'm going to simulate the sound. I'm going to check, make sure the cage is set it down. Now I'm going to take this stuff off to make the video longer. And so I get more watch time. There's no need for it that right there uh, I don't know the actual sizes of the Allen wrenches but I just went ahead and uh, got the ones that all fit ahead of time so sorry I don't know that info At least I'm not finagling for for size, right? You don't need to pull your bolt back either. Just make sure your gun's not loaded before you go do all this. Here I am loosening up a couple of the uh, Allen screws. Now I'm taking off the, uh, what is this, yeah. what part is that, they don't have the part number, the names with it, so I'm just going to go by calling it the part number, and that part number is, it's the rails. Forty-seven sixty. So that's rails I just put down. Uh, to make this easier for me, so I didn't lose anything, I had a magnet and I just kind of tossed all the screws on it as I was taking it apart. <clears throat> that was pretty on there. That was on there pretty good. Here, I'm gonna take this one off. Make it down in there. That's nah, not so bad. What I'm actually doing is I'm replacing the striker pin that had broken because in the earlier models the steel they used was uh, cheap. So what I'm what I did was I I tested the uh, the new part against the earth magnet I had there. It it didn't want to stick to it, so I knew it was titanium more than likely. Now I'd suspected this gun had a slight leak because it wouldn't hold a real high pressure air long time it would only go down to about like you know the green and so and then it eventually just kind of really get down to almost where it wasn't in there but it was still holding it I mean for like it just wouldn't hold high high pressure you know right at the red line and so I was going to fix that with some Teflon tape here I'm taking out the uh I'm actually loosening or taking out the the barrel. Now 
I did clip one of the O-rings when I was doing this, I believe, the first time I took it apart. And I had to fix that one, but they, they sent plenty of them in the uh, repair package. I was actually just kind of taking this gun apart to learn how it works. Here I'm sliding the barrel out. I had already kind of played with the barrel on this gun because it wasn't in there properly when I got it. And so the mags were not locking in place. It actually uses part of the barrel as a mag guide. Second little tube. I was surprised at how easy those came off. There's a striker pin. I'm just going to be replacing it. I'm looking at it, studying it, going, hmm. Now there's four screws here that hold this striker pin in there and there's some spring and a, some other little things, little o-ring. I'm sorry about the quality of the, the video. I do have, I, I was recording with two cameras at the same time on this and I don't know where the other half of the footage is or the other angle really look at that yeah, the, these were on there pretty good but not like Not like you can get them off. I just just trying to use a uh, another Allen wrench or something to give me a little bit more leverage. Looks like I'm drunk. I wasn't. I was just frustrated. Yeah, it's on there hard. <coughs> there it goes. was kind of loose and then I could tell that you really want to get these up tight when it's uh, when you put it back on because you can actually see where air had blown away a little bit of anodized uh, material I realized I wasn't in focus or even had it in view. If I remember right, there was a little bit of spring tension that lifted it up, yes. So I pull that spring out. This is the broken part. Let's compare them with the brand new one. Oh, I can't see they're not moving. They look to me. Backyard, move your, move your your hands a little closer you can kind of see the piece that broke off there is an o-ring right there and the part that extends on is uh, not inside the gun it actually fell out of the gun and I was like what's this I was like this can't be good 
I think it came out of like the front of the trigger or something like that. I kind of heard it rattling. I shot a couple times and it wouldn't shoot. It just kind of like made a like a dry fire. So it went dumping in the air. And just because this little piece, it's weak on the older versions. That little pin right there. Now, I suggest if you've gotten your gun, you uh, and you haven't had this problem, but you know it's an older one, I suggest you write them and request this part because it, it'll take them a little while for it to get to you. And if I had the part already on hand, I mean, it's, it's okay, you see where it's a little gray around that hole? That's where the gun wasn't tightened down enough. And a little bit of air was blasting the, uh, uh, where the cylinder and stuff is. Now, I did get this gun refurbished. I rarely can buy anything brand new. I try to get the try to get the deal. Now place the new part in and put it back together. It's kind of like looking at it, studying it. It's like, oh, that's not how this works. Joseph, can you explain how that little block works? Is it just got a little... So air, you know, that's where I let it out. Does it have some sort of valve or a check in it? put it back together now I really didn't want to explore too much more because I was I hadn't shot this gun in a long time because in days I was waiting for the part and then when it even made it worse is shortly after I got this fixed the my pump went out on me and it was a small part there too that had broken. There, it's built in focus. I would recommend you go in and look at these screws every so often, make sure they're tight. I think they are subject to vibration. Here I am just, you know, kind of holding it down because it's a little, it's spring load. screw set Here I'm just snugging them up. I'm gonna speed this part up.
we've got a little thunder going on. I don't believe I'll put the Teflon on. I think I did. I thought I did. I thought I was like, you know what? I don't want this to sleep. So I ran and got some Teflon, I think. Because I have a feeling that this is maybe one of the places it was leaking. I'm not, I wasn't sure. this little pause right here. This is probably totally unnecessary. Oh, it's annoying me just watching. I must apologize. Sloppily switch it around, stick it back on there. I mean, something's got to be better than none, right? stuff out. There we go. Do, 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 do. Like again, like I said again, these were when I took them off, I was like surprised at how easy it was to that they screwed on. I mean, they were just like barely hand tight. Here I am tightening down the the release valve or the pressure. Off. You can kind of feel the check when it, to make sure it's on right, you know, by feeling the back of the breech there, make sure that that 
of the barrel and extends out for the magwell. that hold the barrel on. I actually had, when I got this gun, the, that screw that looks like it's been sanded a little bit, it's kind of, it's not black. Yeah, that was, it was all roughed up when, uh, so I took and some sandpaper to it, make it smooth, get the burrs off of it. Making sure everything's flush before I but there's a little screw that holds all that together right there. There's one that goes on top of it. Yeah, you will just get your, if you've never taken one of these apart, their PDF they have on it is pretty good. My inspiration for messing with these really came from Fowler's air guns. I'd seen he had added a longer barrel and if this just had a little bit longer barrel on it, I think, you know, you'd have a real good contender for the Notos. And if you got a Jet One and you put a bottle on it, you know, you can regulate it with a bottle. And plus it's got way more, you got like a carbon fiber bottle. If you get way more shots than these little CC tanks that they have on it, you would have a CI tank cubic inch versus cubic centimeter. two screws are for the barrel. Now when you put these in, you want to, as soon as it stops, you want to put the other one, you don't want to push too hard. You slowly tighten each one up, kind of going back and forth once you get it in there. This is how you will change your POI if you bugger with this too much. That's it. I'm out of perp, all right?
Bye. See what I'm saying?